I needed to put my cancer to good use. I wasn't going to let my own cancer get the best of me. I've said about my own treatment that a little piece of joy was kind of snatched from me, having gone through that and watching others go through it. And so I do everything I can to, to put it back in there. Every time we go into a hospital, we don't know. We could have a table full of, you know, six-year-old boys, or we could have a table full of, you know, one baby, one two-year-old, one ten-year-old, and one sixteen-year-old. So we really see, we really see every age. Even though the parents say, I'm not good at with art, I'm not good with art, they sit down with their kid and it's amazing to watch even what happens with the parent and the child, that they are connecting over this other thing. There's no talk of cancer, there's no talk of illness, it's just, oh look what I made, look what I made. The kids are proud of their parents, the parents are proud of their kids for getting in there and getting messy. The shock that your child has to go through a year, two years, a lifetime of treatment there's a childhood that's just like scooped away. And so we need to do whatever we can to put back the pieces so they feel more like a child. You know, we, we always say the messier the table, that means you've had a really good time. The reason that we started our space was because I had gone through cancer myself and uh, about six years ago. And so during my treatment, I was very sick and I was stuck at home a lot and so different friends would come over and bring art activities. So one day, a bunch of friends would come over and teach me how to mosaic, or friends would come over and we would do a big painting all together, or beading, or whatever it was. And so I found that that was a really good focus for me. I you know, made this giant mosaic. It took a really long time, but it was a good thing to take my mind off my own treatment. And we bring every possible thing, feathers and rhinestones and stones and letters and everything and, and they can, you know, it doesn't need glue so they don't have to have great fine motor skills and everything sticks to it and we hang it up and it just looks awesome. We wanted to do something different than painting, you know, on a piece of paper or crayons or things like that. So we bring things to do that are very, everything's really bright, you know. We bring star wands that kids can decorate or we, we pre-paint boxes in every bright color that they can decorate with. We bring a lot of bling, a lot of glitter, um, things where they can make it unique and make it their own, but it's always very, very bold and bright. And some people are afraid to go into hospitals. They don't want to go anywhere near a hospital, either, if, even if they've never had someone ill in their family. I've always taken the other route because I see how much goodness can be brought to kids in a hospital that's not medical. You know, when I go into a child's room and I see a lot of the art that we've done on the walls or the art that they've done with the hospital, I know that they're so happy with themselves when they look around. Hopefully it reminds them of the strength they had that day of even if they didn't feel well, they still did it. I had kids at different hospitals where the parents have said, and this comes up a lot, where parents have said, wow, that's the first time I've seen him smile in four weeks, and they mean it. And that, right then, we know that that day we've, you know, we've done something that we've set out to do. When you're working with kids with cancer, you hear everything. You hear everything in and out of the hospital. Oh, they must feel this, they must feel this. Oh, you must feel this. Well, no one can say to anyone, you must feel. Only you know how you feel. Well, sometimes people say, Kids are resilient, they can get through anything, but they don't really realize what it's like. You know, yes, they can get through it because they have to, you know, but I don't think they realize the true difficulty and the challenge and the sadness and the fear and all, the, all of those things. I think that kids who are in a treatment, they're just forced to be stronger than other kids. They're just, they don't have a choice. There's a lot of laughing, a lot. And I think that's really important. If one kid can be happy that day because they've sat down and they've made something, whether it's a you know, pile of glitter or some painted wood, whatever it is, then we've accomplished our mission.